Hello, my name is Don and welcome to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about this KID 1022. So I think anybody who watched my 1022 comparison videos could agree that this KID 1022 did not perform up to its price point. It shot okay, it shot about the same as the other rifles, but it really didn't stand out like KID is known for. So I reached out to KID. KID was gracious enough to send us out a replacement barrel. They agreed that it probably was something going on with it that was affecting its accuracy. So today we're going to shoot at 100 yards. We're going to shoot some long range match and some SK match. And hopefully this one will perform better than the other one did. So stay tuned. So we're gonna shoot four groups of SK long range match and four groups of rifle match. The first uh, five shots I take, so the first group that I shoot is just gonna be to warm up the barrel. We're not gonna count that for score. So hopefully this barrel will shoot better than the other barrel did. Uh, I, you know, I've had several people in the comments were like, man, that, that kid rifle should shoot better than that. And I agreed, you know, it didn't shoot any better than the other rifles. And, you know, everybody seemed quite surprised that it wasn't performing the way that it should. So hopefully this barrel will do the job that it's supposed to do. And let's find out. All right, top left. I believe we have a shooter. <laughs> I believe that low shot was me. Nice. That's worth the money. Not too bad. Definitely likes the long range match better. If I have any more. Ooh, got five more rounds. All right, bottom left. Yeah, so that first round was hot. That's why it shot so high. Well, just from what I can see in the scope, I think these things are going to score up quite well. So let me get down there. We'll pull the targets, get them scored up, and I'll get right back to you. So the long range match pulled out a .81 for group average. The old barrel, I think it was about a 1.14 was the best we could do with the long range match. So the rifle match pulled out a 1.12 for group average. If you take out that 1.2 inch flyer, it was a .89 without the flyer. I don't think it ever did better than a 1.3. So I prefer the Oryx chassis over the KRG Bravo. So next week we're going to put this kid rifle up against the Schillen and the winner is going to get the Oryx chassis as a prize. So stay tuned for that. So that's pretty much all I have for you today, guys. So if you like what you saw, please give it a big thumbs up and thanks for watching. And if you're not subscribed, please go down there and smash that button so we can grow this channel. Thanks for watching, guys.